the Sahara chief Sobrat Roy has been taken into custody by the police in Lucknow. Now, this follows the Supreme Court's warrant against him for not appearing in court in a case linked to his alleged failure to return investors' money. And at the very uh, same time in Delhi, uh, we saw a press conference by the Sahara group. His son, Samanto, announced at that press conference that being a law-abiding citizen, Sobrat Roy willfully decided to submit himself to the Lucknow police. He had declared a short while ago that he was not absconding, rejecting speculation after a police team that had landed with a non-bailable warrant at his sprawling residence in Lucknow yesterday evening couldn't find him. The Supreme Court, uh, meanwhile, has declined to hear uh, Sobrat Roy's urgent plea, which had sought to clarify his stand and ask that he be placed under house arrest till the 3rd of March as he was spending time with his ailing mother. Well, let's go across to uh, Shweta Rajpal Kohli, who's at that press conference just a short while ago. Shweta, just take us through. Uh, we've seen a lot of developments taking place in the last half hour. Uh, Shabrat Roy arrested his son here in Delhi, uh, clarifying his stand and, and defending his father. That's right. Uh, we had simultaneous developments taking place in Lucknow and Delhi. So while in Lucknow, we had Subrata Roy surrendering himself to the Lucknow police here in Delhi. His son, Subrata Roy, making an emotional appeal and addressing a press conference saying that uh, Sahara India Parivar is a responsible business organization with over 12 lakh employees and 8 crore investors, and which is the reason why he decided to address the media to clear some of the misconceptions that are being created about Sahara as well as about his father. In a rather emotional press conference, he said that uh, Suprata Roy is not only a doting uh, father uh, to Samantha Roy, but also the fact that he's been a son to India and he stood up uh, for the country whenever it was required. So it really pains him to see uh, how his image is being maligned at this stage. And based, based on facts and where uh, he was, his whereabouts over the last couple of days, he stated uh, on each day uh, what his, uh, what his uh, entire uh, day looked like of what he was doing and why he feels that the fact that the media has reported that he was absconding is totally incorrect. Once again reiterating that he could not appear in court simply because his mother was is ailing. She is 92 years old and that uh, a hospital which is run by the Sahara India Parivar in Lucknow, that hospital has termed her condition as critical and that was then that's why he being the eldest son and one who was very attached to her is uh, expected to be by her side. Uh, so let's actually now listen in uh, to what uh, Shamanta Roy had to say and also other developments that are coming in. That's the whole case, sir. All right, well, uh, that was uh, Shmonta Roy, uh, who uh, earlier had addressed that press conference. Uh, let's go back to Shweta for more. Shweta, he really didn't talk about the Sahara Sebi case. However, as he said, that is sub -judice. The matter is in court. Absolutely, we did try to ask him specific questions because remember this is an ongoing legal battle between SEBI and the Sahara Group uh, for Sahara not being able to refund the 24,000 crore rupees it owes to uh, hundreds of small investors. This after uh, uh, two schemes that were being run by the Sahara Group uh, were declared uh, illegal and that's the matter in which of course uh, he has been arrested now. He has surrendered to the police uh, but his son Samantha Roy, they're clearly saying that that matter is sub -judice. That's why he's unable to answer any questions uh, with regard to the legal case. At the same time, he was present here to address the media and to clarify the stand of his father, saying that his father was by the side of uh, um, uh, his mother and the fact that uh, Subrata Roy's mother is ailing and she is uh, very critical. He could not leave her and that's why he had made an appeal to the Supreme Court to allow her to be by her side. In fact, earlier this morning, before Subrata Roy surrendered uh, to the police and before we saw Subrata Roy come here, in Delhi to address the media. We had another appeal being made by Subrata Roy in a strong statement where he had said that he be allowed to be under house arrest till the 3rd of March. But clearly, given the fact that he's a law-abiding citizen, he says he decided to surrender to the uh, police uh, on account of the orders that have been issued uh, by the Supreme Court, the non-bailable warrant. Uh, the latest, of course, is that his counsel, Ram Jekulani, has appealed to the Supreme Court uh, requesting that the uh, case be heard earlier, which is today.
and also making a request uh, that uh, the non mailable warrant against him should be cancelled. But the Supreme Court has made it clear that the case will be heard on the 4th of March, which is next Tuesday, as per what was decided earlier. So according to that, we will see well-known industrialist Subrata Roy, the promoter of Sahara India Paribar, in police custody till the 4th of March, an unprecedented development gargi that has taken place there. After intense drama, we're finally seeing Subrata Roy surrendering to the Lucknow police, his son here addressing a very emotional press conference talking about his father being a doting father and a son of India. Back right. to you.